Good news. The diaper archive has found a worthy home. From now on, all the diapers from the practical tests are in this cupboard instead of in large cardboard boxes as before. The boxes were impractical, setting up and dismantling for the videos in particular was a lot of work. It was also difficult to find a specific diaper, for example to show for another practical test. They are still not really sorted, but you can see them all in one place from the front, which makes it much easier. There is also space for leftover children's diapers such as Pampers, Baby Dream and others. They previously had to go into another box because there was simply no more room in the other one with the ABDL diapers. That didn't work 100%, as I noticed when I was rearranging, individual children's diapers have been in the bottom with the ABDL diapers. In future I will probably put them in a small box and store them on the right hand side. This gives the piles of diapers stability because they can't fall over. This will also allow them to be bigger and use the full height of the cupboard. Finally, a total of three practical tests are currently underway, as you probably already know if you follow the pictures published here on YouTube under Community. One of the current practice test diapers is on the right, simply because Kiddo has made the biggest diaper pack I've ever seen. It's as big as two normal ABDL packs and therefore doesn't fit anywhere else. I'm making good progress, I've already worn almost half of the 20 diapers. After the test, there will be more space here, so the archive can still grow properly without getting space problems. Behind the large pack of diapers is another test candidate that I have not yet announced on YouTube, a pack of boosters. I plan to make videos about these inserts too. But there is also a problem, the archive has become too big. Not in terms of space, but in terms of the time I need to compare this amount of diapers. Some of you may have already noticed that I've cheated a bit in the last practical tests and increased the speed by 20 to 30 percent. Otherwise the video would be unnecessarily long. With every test, this problem gets a little bigger, so I want to solve it differently in future. The archive will be re-sorted and thinned out. I don't want to remove any diapers that I have tested, as far as possible, it should remain an archive of all practical tests. However, there are a few duplicates. For example, I have included five crinkles. This is the same diaper each time, just with a different print. It is similar with the Rears Rebel. This diaper was available in black and later pink. The same diaper both times, just with a different color for the motifs. I think it's enough to include one diaper from each model in the comparisons, for example, a crinkles and a rebel, instead of including them all. Otherwise I would have to fill the videos with text somehow, which I find unnecessary and don't want to do. There are other diapers, of which there are several in a similar style. One of the most striking examples due to its purple color is the rear's seduction. It is originally completely purple, but there was a special edition with Halloween prints on the front of the adhesive surface. Both are no longer in production. Thanks to the archive and the comparisons in the practical tests, you can still see diapers like these, although they have long since disappeared from all stores and will probably never return. I will decide on one of these double diapers, which I will continue to show in the comparison in each diaper test. The rest will go into a second archive, which will certainly still be visible in individual photos or on special occasions, just not in every practical test. Regardless of this, two diapers have smuggled themselves into the archive, although unfortunately I was never able to test them. This is an older Tykables that I wanted to do a practice test video on, but couldn't because it was sold out. It was similar with another one. I am also removing these from the archive because there is no practical test video for them and therefore, strictly speaking, they don't belong there. I'm looking forward to the new recordings and the next level of comparisons. Feel free to write your opinion in the comments. Stay dry, until the next video.